Hi everyone, oh, hi everyone. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to attach a special prop to your avatar. I've been asked to do this specially so bear with me because it's been a while since I've done it. <laughs> okay, first things first, what you must do is see what it says, new style avatar, uncheck that box and you must make your avatar legacy. And then you save change. Sorry guys, my internet connection is a bit slow, so bear with me. Right, and then once you're out of your closet, you then go back in. And now, you go over to your... Eventually. Come on. Sorry guys, Chrome's freezing up on me here at the moment, just bear with me. So then you then go into your clothing and you will have purchased or have a special prop in your closet. So what you do is you go into your clothing, which you can see here. Um, and it would be under my purchase clothing, whereas mine is under my design clothing. And then I just go look for my props. as it was one of my dogs someone wanted to know how to apply just find them you can see I've got them all here um, we'll just apply this little Yorkie here now you can see here that this is on a uh, legacy all props are designed and uploaded onto the legacy model which is why you must have your avatar as a legacy model before you go any further so you click apply and you apply this outfit. Now when you go back into your closet you're going to see nothing whatsoever. Okay, but you don't worry about that. You go to save change and then you go back into your closet and you go back over here. Now up here you will see where it says profile. Click on that Oh, hang on, I usually open that in a new window, so right click on profile and open link in a new tab if you're using Chrome or Firefox. If you're using uh, Internet Explorer, I think it's the same, I'm not 100% sure because I don't use that. But what you want to do is over here, you see where it says piercing, lip one, left, skin, skin. What you do is you go over here and... Here you will see where it says avatar. You scroll down and down here, as I said, you can see that's done on the piercing lip one. You look for the lip mesh. And in there you will see this line of code dot PNG. What you do is you just... No, sorry, the, it's the HF piercing lip one. That's the one that you remove because it's the GML file. So you delete that and in its place you type in door, if you can spell right, door.gml, right? And then you go down, you click save change. And when you go back in, hopefully you will have your little doggy. Yep, there it is. Now we want to change this avatar from a legacy back to your new style with your skin and hair and outfit all in place. So click save change, go back in and hopefully you will all know where your skin and hair etc is. So I'll close that for now. Uh, so I go back into my outfits and as I say I've got all my skins and hair and all that saved in different folders. Word of warning do not under any circumstances use your stored outfits because if you do and you click on that and save it you're going to lose your prop so you don't use those at all you have to go back in here but what you can do sorry I'm getting ahead of myself here recheck that new style new style avatar and you can see you've still got your little prop down there and click save change but it hasn't really done anything for your avatar, so you do need to go in and apply 
your skin and hair and out that it gains. So let me show you how to do that. So as I say, I've got all my skins in here over here in a special folder. So I'm going to apply that here. Apply and then I'm going to go back to my outfits, my purchase clothing, my skin in here. And then you go and find your skin. Now I'm not 100% sure where these are. Hopefully I'm on the right track here. further back. This takes a wee bit of time but it's well worth it's well worth the effort. Now you can see I've got skin there so I'll just apply that. Apply outfit and in here once it loads you can see I've now got my new style skin and hair all in place and the dog's the dog prop is still there. Now you want to go and find an outfit to wear. So you go back into my outfits. And like I say, yours would be under my purchase clothing. Mine's under my design clothing. So I will just apply that first one there. Apply outfit. And there you go, there's your new style avatar with its special prop. Now, if you want to keep this prop and the skins and all, it's a good idea just to go over to your outfit name here and name it, uh, say, Denim with Dogs. That's all I'm going to name it for now. And then click Save. And that way, uh, you'll still have the outfit, you'll have the skin, the hair and the prop, but you can change this outfit at any time without losing the prop just by going in and clicking on that and then clicking apply and that way you've got your little prop there and then just click save change and that is you, you have now got your little prop and that is how easy it is okay guys that's it for now